Hello everyone. Today we'll be building the 72nd scale MiG-23 MF from Academy. Here's a look at the uh, nice graphic on the box art. And as I open the box, we are greeted with the spruce and the clear spruce. This is the two part canopy, which I've already masked. Followed by the uh, nicely detailed plastic spruce. Further followed by a four page instruction sheet with five assembly steps, which are pretty simple to follow. And a color call out in the end. But since I'll be building this in the Indian Air Force scheme, I wouldn't be using these decals. And the assembly begins with the assembly of the cockpit floor and the seat. It's a pretty rudimentary cockpit floor and seat and I decided not to go for any detailing. The pilot figure comes with the sprues and I used my standard Febicryl olive drab paint and I simply painted up the pilot in the olive drab. I then moved on to painting the cockpit interiors with Febicryl teal blue. And here I detailed the pilot a little more with a white helmet just to add that little bit of depth into the uh, cockpit. I am going to build this as a wheels up model but here I am adding a lot of nose weight using fun school play-doh. Over here I chopped off the underwing drop tank hard points and sanded them smooth because this aircraft is not going to carry any drop tanks. And the rest of the build was pretty straightforward with just a little bit of glue needed and the parts were joined together. Once the majority of the build was done, I marked off those places or areas where I would need to fill in so that the final bodywork could be completed and you can see that I have marked 13 such places for the filler. And here you can see me filling the upper parts of the air intakes with plastic card which I cut out from an old credit card and then I masked off these areas and made them ready for a filler. This section of the air intake had a big gap here so I decided to use stretch sprue to fill in the gap and I simply heated up a piece of sprue and stretched it out and then cut out the required length and filled in the gaps. And then I went ahead and sanded off the filler after it had dried off with my pedicure and manicure nail file tool and 
within a matter of seconds I just sanded off the entire putty and then polished off the areas I wanted to reconstruct the dual launchers for the R60 missiles however the kit has only a single launcher so from my spares box I pulled out some spares and reconstructed the hard points and finally with the Bosni grey primer I primed the model and it was ready for the painting session So this is Fabricryl Grey simply made by mixing Fabricryl White and Fabricryl Black and I am painting the underside of the MiG-23. I had to make a stand for the MiG-23 to show it in flight so I used this steel rod and I wanted to mount it on a stand so I used a drill bit of roughly 3.5 mm which was the closest to the diameter of the uh, pipe and with my trusted Black & Decker drill I drilled out the hole in the exhaust and here I am using the uh, trusted dry brushing technique to detail the exhaust. I take just a little bit of the burnt sienna paint from Camlin and perpendicular to the exhaust veins I simply dry brush it. And with the same burnt sienna paint then I go ahead and paint the upper surfaces of the aircraft. Finally, once the paint was done and dried, I used my standard uh, practice of polishing the paint with my car dashboard polish. Simply apply a few drops of it over the uh, surfaces of the aircraft and then use the dry side of the cloth to buff it into a perfect shine. Once all the weathering was over and sealed, I printed the logo and the uh, insignia and markings for the aircraft and finally decked up the aircraft for its final review. And finally the build was done. I leave you now with some beauty shots of the aircraft which were clicked in uh, natural sunlight. We had some uh, good weather after the rains in Delhi 
and the clouds that were visible really gave a very nice background to all these pictures. So leave a comment below if you liked the video and the content. I hope you're all keeping safe under these circumstances. Wash your hands regularly. Wear a mask if you have to step out. I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.